Hello, folks. This is Dean Henryson, psychotherapist, writer, novelist, uh, doing a reaction to Disturbs Sound of Silence, like a lot of people have already done, but I don't haven't seen a therapist or a novelist uh, react to this video yet, so maybe I can help out in regards to some of the different symbolism that is relevant to our time in this song now that seems to be bringing up a lot of emotions with people. All right, without further ado, let's start the these thing here. So, a lot of broken instruments, burning instruments, death, basically, right? Or death of music, death of communication. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left it seems while I was leaving. dead tree there taking the drum off of that and almost like a grave where the guitar was buried in restless dreams I walked alone narrow streets of cobblestone beneath the halo of a street lamp I turned my color to the cold and dark Stand by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touch the sound of silence. So he introduces the neon light stabbing his eyes at this point. Um, and that could symbolically represent technology, particularly internet, phones, tablets, stuff like that, that has invaded our sight, it's kind of sil silenced our own social contact, um, even through work now. People commune, uh, commune, commune through uh, Zoom or computer laptops uh, with each other. Uh, so it's, it, it's something we can culturally adapt to, I think, but in the beginning stages, it might be a, a silence, an emptiness, a loneliness that we have to figure out how to overcome. So in regards to psychotherapy, healing, um, stuff like that, uh, communication is essential, expression is essential, either through music or talking or something, art. Um, if you just have a silence, uh, it's a deafening, a, 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 it, it's like deafening to your healing, to your growth, and to your soul, your heart. Uh, so. Uh, perhaps that's part of what is going on uh, in 
the hearts of people as they hear these, I don't know, I think there's like over a billion has, has, have watched this video now. And uh, I know for me, I had to watch this probably 100 to 150 times before I stopped getting emotional. <laughs> Just, it's very emotional video, and it's, it draws me in even now that I have to use my more intellectual brain in this video, though. So I have to kind of counter that emotional side of me that wants to come out again. Your communication isn't working. He's he's telling you, you know, he he tried to talk, but he, his words fell like silent raindrops, and and nobody heard. And 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 instead, people are bowing and praying to uh, the neon god they made, which is technology they made, uh, the internet, uh, phones, stuff like that. That's perfect. Perfect bowing is your phone sitting head down, looking at your phone and dinner conversation or wherever you're at. And uh, yeah, there's, there's an emptiness there that is, hasn't been around in other cultures. So there's the words of the prophet, you know, the savior. Uh, it's written on the uh, tenement halls, I believe, uh, in the sound of silence. And um, somewhere else, too, I forget what it was. But so there is, you know, hope. And I think, you know, just with the internet and phones, there. This is, there's hope there too to reconnect. Uh, it's just this part of humanity connecting with uh, technology. It might be a dry emptiness at first until we figure out a way to get that human, humane contact uh, more so again. Um, but yeah. So even though the song was written many years ago, it, it's touching the hearts of many again in today's culture in this time. And uh, what we're going through, I think, there is our interfacing with technology at a high, high level now compared to humanity. So thank you for watching, everybody. And like I said, I cried many times with this video myself uh, during my initial uh, watchings.